Hi everyone and thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 45. This week we're going to jump back into Photoshop and I'm going to show you ways to take your photos from ordinary to extraordinary with just a few simple steps. So today we're going to be adding light to our photographs with the lens flare feature. And what we want to do first is duplicate your layer so you are not working on your background copy. Then we're going to go up to filter, we're going to go down to render and lens flare. So there's four different types of different lens flare that you can choose. So we're going to go through all four today. The first one is the uh, 50 to 300 millimeter zoom. And uh, we're just going to put the light in the top corner there. So because we're not working on the background copy, we have the, op the option to erase what we don't like. And the background copy will be the same underneath. So I didn't really like that lens flare on her hair. So um, the brush that I'm using is a little bit too hard. So we're going to bring it down to the softest brush possible. And we're going to enlarge it. And we're just going to um, erase over top of where I do not want the lens flare. I'm going to change the opacity there so it's, it's more natural. And, uh, and then we're just going to erase where I don't want it. This is a really neat effect, guys, just to pump up your photos just a little bit and make them a little more unique. So what you can also do is under your layers, you can change the opacity that you want your lens flare to have, whether you want it really strong or soft. So now we're going to go back, we're going to do another one, and this time we're going to do the 35 millimeter. And uh, we're going to place it up here in the top corner again. And um, it'll give you a little bit of a different look and a little bit of um, different color. So you want to play with these as much as you can. They're a lot of fun. So as you can see, there's a lens flare, like a circular flare in the bottom right hand corner. So I'm not loving it too much. So I'm just going to take my eraser because we're working on the background copy layer. And we're just going to erase over that so that um, it's not in the actual final image. So here we have another image and we're going to duplicate our layer so that we're not working on the background. We're going to go to render, lens flare. And uh, so we're going to do the 50 to 300 again. So we're going to go up to the top. And um, you want to remember, keep the light as natural as possible. So you want to look where is the light coming from and you want to have it coming from the same direction. So we're going to put this light in between the two stacks there. And um, that's pretty cool. It creates a really, really neat look. So again, if you're... Um, not liking the lens flare look, you can take your eraser and you can erase over top of wherever you don't want the light to be. But again, you want to keep your brush um, very soft and at a low opacity to keep it as natural as possible with the lens flare. So we're going to go back again. We're going to try another one. Filter, render, lens flare. And uh, this time we'll do the 35 millimeter. Again, we're going to put it in between the two stacks. And uh, you can move it around right on your display there. And so that one just gave it a subtle look. It's, there's so many different options and so many um, ways you can play with this. So really, I just encourage you to, to work with it in all sorts of pictures. We're going to try another one here, lens flare. And we're going to do the 105. We're going to brighten it up and hit OK. So you can just see how they can make an image totally different. Um, it's pretty incredible. We love this, uh, this feature of Photoshop. Okay, we're going to um, erase over them and uh, I'm not really liking that lens flare circle at the bottom so we're just going to keep erasing here. Lighting is so much fun to play with. And uh, as you know, I love playing with light. And this gives you another way to play with it. So here we go. We're going to have another image here. This is in a, um, a car garage. And we're going to add um, a lens flare through the windows to your left. So again, you want to keep it natural. Keep it coming right through one of these, uh, these windows. And because again we're playing on the background copy, you don't have to worry if you uh, 
if you don't like it, you can just um, go back in your history or you can just erase that layer and do another background layer. So here we have it coming through and uh, it looks pretty cool. And I'm going to take out that lens flare over top of them just with an eraser tool. And there you go. We're going to go back again. And now we're going to try the 105 millimeter. And uh, we're going to put it in there. And that gives it a pretty neat effect with some added uh, color um, in the lens flare. So here we have an indoor image and um, it's of a band as you can see and we're going to create a nice little lighting effect just the 50 to 300 zoom and we're going to put it right in the top there just to create a little bit more of a uh, dynamic image. And again you can play with your opacity, lighten it, darken it as much as you want and remember to always look where the light is coming from. This image, um, we're going to play with the last um, lens flare effect, which is um, go up to render, lens flare, and we're going to do the movie um, one. So we're going to click there. This allows like um, <laughs> you to have a lot of fun. But anyways, it creates um, straight lines of, um, of light. So there you go. It just adds a little punch to your image. Um, we just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. We hope you learned something new today and we will see you next week. Have a great day guys. Bye-bye.